So I had this thought that I wanted to be in an RV. I wanted to experience more mobility. My wife and I love to travel as a speaker. I, again, get the opportunity to travel quite a bit, although not as much since COVID. More, more is coming online now. Uh, but I followed that and I said, okay, let's rent an RV and see what that feels like, right? So we rented an RV in 2020, nope, 2019 for my wife's birthday and Thanksgiving. And we literally had knew nothing about RVs. I rented a 40 foot RV and said, I'm going to drive it to one oh, spot. Wow. <laughs> I'm going to hook it up and I'm not going to move it at all the whole week. And then we're going to drive it back and drop it off. So we did that. We went, we, we rented one and we, we had the experience. And as soon as we sat in this RV, we looked at each other and we were like, uh, we can do this. Let's do this. So from that day, what did I start doing? I a, started to look for RVs. It took us a year to find one. But B, I started to network with other people that are already living the full-time RV lifestyle. I did exactly what I just shared, my discovery yeah. process. And I interviewed them, right? I interviewed them. I did Facebook Lives. I did podcasts. And I found out, all, I asked them all the questions I want to ask them about. I was just inspired. And I just asked them. And what did I ask at the end? Who do you know that I should talk to, right? I did the same thing. I just did it in a podcast version. And I found out all this information that was so useful and, and continued to drive my fuel and my excitement and my inspiration. And what do you know, a year later, I find myself buying an RV, renting out our house, and we literally have been traveling around the U.S. playing pickleball for the last, and I'll tell you pickleball in a sec, but doing that for the last year and a half. <laughs> That's awesome. So similar to that story, uh, I was looking, you know, obviously COVID happened in March of 2020 or February-ish. And I was already looking for a way that I could do something with my wife, right? The most important person in my life and exercise, but not have it feel like exercise. Cause yeah. I personally don't really love to exercise. Right. I'm the same and way. yeah, but, but when you play pickleball in a moment, you're going to find out why you play pickleball. It doesn't feel like you're exercising, but you're getting a ton of exercise. You are just having a great old time. So I find myself in a dentist chair in Encinitas, California, a couple blocks from the beach, beautiful setting, except for the fact that I'm in a dentist chair, leaning back, getting drilled on. And I hear pop, 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 pop. And I'm like, what the heck is that popcorn sound? I go outside and investigate afterwards. And I find Bobby Riggs racket and paddle right there, right behind the dentist's office. And I walk around the corner and all of a sudden picture this. I see like a hundred people all playing this wacky sport. That's like the quarter of the size uh, if you don't know what pickleball is, by the way, it's like tennis and ping pong had a baby and it's a really cool baby. OK, yeah. you play it with hard paddles. It's kind of like a plastic wiffle ball ish. And you play on a court that looks like a tennis court, but it's about the quarter of the size. And it's usually two on two. You can play one on one, but it's usually two on two. And I look around at Bobby Riggs and I see seven year olds playing with 85 year olds. I see like Olympic style looking athletes playing with overweight people and everything in between, all ages and all shapes and sizes. And one thing was common amongst all of them, Justin, is they all were smiling, laughing, having an amazing time. I looked right at them and I said, I have no idea what you're doing, but I want to do this. And they're like, I'm like, what is it? And they're like, it's pickleball. And I'm like, pickle what? Like what? Pickle what? So I go home and tell my wife, I'm like, honey, I found it. And she's like, pickle what? Right. She's like, what are you talking about? So we go back that weekend and we do our first lesson. Oh, I remember literally like it was yesterday, August 15th, 2020. First time I ever picked up a pickleball paddle. It's not a racket, by the way, it's a paddle. And I, I start playing and I learn. And it's a beautiful sport because you can learn in like 30 minutes. Yeah. You can literally learn the game. So easy to get good at. It's not easy to master, but it's so easy to get good at. You could literally be playing a game in 30 minutes. And that, I believe, is one of the reasons why it's so popular. It's the fastest growing sport on the planet. 36.5 million people played it from August 2021 to August 2022, with 8.5 million of those people playing it eight or more times that year. Hmm.